Hey, it's the Love Dinosaur. <clears throat> and uh, in this installment, I'd like to talk about using what you have. Um, first off, I'd like to dedicate this uh, video to an inspiration of mine, one of my guides and uh, spiritual mentors, um, I would say, uh, and that's Infinite Waters. If you haven't checked out his videos, check them out. He's always in nature, and when I watch those videos, especially now, since uh, it's springtime here in Brooklyn, 2016, May 2nd, uh, and I have a really wonderful nature area by my house, I always say, man, I wish I could do videos in nature too. So, uh, you know, I don't intend to, don't mean to copy you, Infinite Waters, but it's just so great. And um, now that I got to capitalize on the warm weather. Because in Brooklyn, it's not so nice that you could film outdoors all year round. Not at all. So anyway, use what you have. Um, I was inspired to to write, make a little video about this because uh, just now I was thinking about getting recently these days thinking about getting a new phone because I have various obstacles with the phone I'm using, and uh, you know not enough memory or space to record videos or take pictures do what I want to do um, and I put in a new memory card and it didn't read it properly and all this stuff so I was gonna get a new one but I said let me try one more time let me try to just delete basically everything on my phone to see if I can make room anything I know I don't use and make room and if it gets messed up then I'll deal with that then um, but I want to be able to use it today. So I don't have a new phone today. I want to use the phone that I do have today. And this is kind of the way I, I've been going about life, using what I have. The bike that I ride um, actually is, I think, about 22 years old, uh, maybe 23. I've been riding it longer, or no, just about the same amount of time as I've been playing guitar. I started guitar in sixth grade. I've been riding the bike since eighth grade. So my, my point is, there's not, I don't deserve a, an award for that, but my point is that when you use what you have, you can really value it. And also, I think you become less afraid of breaking it. You know, if this phone breaks, it's okay, because I've used it to the fullest extent that I can. I didn't get a new phone yet. Uh, I remember using my Walkman, my tape player Walkman, uh, basically until it just kind of was playing at very slow speed going blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and that was in the you know 2011 or so that I stopped using it you know from the mid 90s and um, then I thought about getting a, an mp3 play <laughs> so again I know it doesn't make me cool or deserving of a reward to use things to the fullest extent of their capacity but what it does allow me to do is to desire for less. So, you know, the fact that uh, maybe I don't make so much money or not as much money as I want still doesn't stop me from doing the things I want to do because I use what I have to make the most of my desires, to, you know, my creative impulses. I use a camera that I'm a little frustrated with. I, u I jogged. Even in, when I was living in Japan without music, I had my mom send me that Walkman, mail it to me from the US, and I jogged with the few cassettes that I had, you know, rather than using the excuse that I don't have money for a new iPod or that I don't have any music to listen to. And of course, I evolved, but maybe a little bit slowly. And that's okay, I'm the love dinosaur, you know, um, an ancient being from the dinosaur era that. It, inhabits this planet to spread love so you know um, I'm part of this electronic era for sure you know I'm putting up uh, these videos but I'm also uh, definitely I aim and strive to be a very natural being so use what you have if you have you know a, a camera that'll do the job and you want to make videos use it. it doesn't matter if it's not the best at least you can make videos. If you want to be an artist and you don't have high quality paper or paints, 
then just draw on whatever scrap paper you can find. Recycle other people, people's paper and use it as a reason to practice. You know, uh, use what you have. If you have clothes that, uh, that keep you warm, then wear them, you know, or give them away. And you could use that as a way of making a donation. Maybe you don't have the money to donate right now. You can donate clothes. You know, um, another way to use what you have is if you have, like, you know, something of value around the house, you could try and sell it on eBay. You know, and, and that, in so doing, you make space in your living environment. You also circulate things within the, you know, within the world. Um, energy is shifted. Someone gives you money in exchange for something of value. And then you could use that money to create something new in your environment. Maybe to get that camera that you want. Or maybe to get those, you know, good drawing paper or good markers. Or, you know, if you're a plumber and you need some new tools. And you've been using what you have until now when your last good wrench broke. Then you can... You know, go out and buy a new wrench with some money that you earn from selling something that you don't use on eBay. Or maybe you give it to somebody and then they, someone else gives you a wrench because you're, you know, you're moving the energy around. Now, um, yeah, I'm just so happy to be in nature making a video. I thought I'd have to wait till, you know, I got a camera with a stable stand which I have a stand I don't know if it's stable enough and I thought maybe I would need to get a special microphone so you could hear my voice and that I have to wait for a nicer day because this is a gray day but I just on the spur of the moment said I'm gonna try to delete everything from my phone <laughs> that I can and see if I can make a video for you guys to share why because I want to because I want to use what I have because I want to move the energy around, because I want to be in nature, I want to share nature with you guys who are watching, who maybe can't be in nature right now. I um, want to make that shout out to Infinite Waters for inspiring me to go in nature. And also I'd like to make a shout out to Matt Kahn, who inspired me to really want to circulate new energy. You know, I've always been into doing spring cleaning, or what they say in Japan, uh, dan shari, which means like getting rid of what you have, to make room for new stuff. Um, there's this book going around in Japan, which is uh, popular these days. Um, basically, the idea of like getting rid of the vast majority of your possessions and living very simply. It's a you know it's a movement there. Um, I definitely relate to that. But when Matt Kahn actually said circulate new energy, that's what you kind of all you need to do for the universe to be happy. You know, create some variety in your life. Move the energy around. It's not asking you to do that much, but move the energy around rather than stagnate. And then there's also a time for integration. This is from Matt Kahn. You can check out his video. Uh, sorry, I don't remember the name of that video. But uh, check out any of his videos. Infinite Waters too. Um, and I have some more videos up here. I plan on continuing to create them. It's where I'm at. It's where my passion's at. So please, use what you have. If it's an old guitar that doesn't sound great, use it anyway. If it's an old fiddle or drum or, I don't know, uh, if it's an old bike that's just collecting dust, either get rid of it, give it away, fix it. Bring it in to get fixed and then ride it, you know? Uh, if you have sneakers that don't fit that well but they can get you from point A to point B, use them. You know, use whatever you have because it's in your possession now for a reason. And then use it until you can't use it anymore or until you want to get something else or something else comes your way naturally by putting those vibrations into the universe. I also want to share that as a guitar teacher, a guitar player, so many times because of my determination to make value of what I have, so many guitars, instruments, and various musical things, CDs, find their way to me given to me for free or people find them in the garbage and give them to me you know and then I can repurpose them and make some value out of them why because I think the universe recognizes that I'm a person who will put value to 
guitars, no matter what the condition. The musical stuff, no matter, you know, what genre or what the, you know, if it's something I like but I receive it, and I don't, if it's something I don't like and I receive it, I can still either find someone who does like it or give it a shot or hold on to it until the right person comes along. But moving that energy around, the universe says, okay, you can give this guy a bunch of guitars. We can trust him with it. And, you know, you might be someone who can be trusted with, with cars or with plants or with uh, tools or something, video games, I don't know. And the universe will recognize it if you're moving things around, if you're using what you have. Because things here exist on this earth to be for, for a function and a purpose. And when the function and purpose is being fulfilled, the universe is happy. Those things are happy. We're happy that we use the possessions we have. And we have too many possessions. We can't use them. We don't use them. They collect dust. They clutter our mind. They beckon for our attention. And there's always too little attention and energy to go around. You know, this is what spring cleaning is, is for. Use what you have. Give the rest away. Sell it. Move it around. But if you have it and you want to use it, don't make excuses. Use it. Use what you have. That's my message today out in nature. I hope to get back in nature again soon. Thank you, Infinite Waters, Matt Khan, for inspiring me, lighting my fire, my passion again. And thank you all for listening. Everyone here who's paying attention to what I have to say, I really appreciate it. I hope you get in nature sometime soon if you get a chance. Or at the very least, hope you get out of the house, you know, out of your apartment and take a look around. Breathe in the air, especially if spring's coming, the air smells extra sweet. Okay, until the next video.